I've previously shown you how to install the Lineage OS custom ROM on a few devices. So in today's video, I'm going to show you not only how to install an over-the-air update for this ROM, but I'm also going to show you how to regain root access after that over-the-air update has been installed. I've got the Galaxy Note 10 Plus right here, and it does not have the dual partition system set up. So I'm unable to use the Magisk install to the Magisk feature that will install it to the other partition. Instead, we're going to need to use the ADB sideload command to regain root access. But first, we're going to install that over the air update. So if you do not already have an update or an, a notification waiting for you, let's just go ahead and go into the settings application, scroll all the way down and then tap on the system option. Then we're going to tap on the advanced drop down menu so that you can see the updater option down here at the bottom. So we're going to tap that updater option and we're going to go ahead and tap the refresh icon up at the top right. If it crashes the updater, let's just go back into it. And up here at the top, we're going to have the latest update available. So let's just go ahead and download that update. Now while this is downloading, you may need to go ahead and download the Magisk zip file on your PC. We're going to go ahead and copy or move that zip file into our ADB and Fastboot Tools folder. Alright, since I'm having issues downloading the latest version, I'm just going to, I've just downloaded a newer version. I am on an old build so updating to the September 21st will still be an update so once you have downloaded the update you want to install we're just gonna go ahead and tap on the install button make sure that you read this make sure that you have a compatible recovery installed in this case we are using the lineage OS recovery and then we're just gonna tap on OK and let the Galaxy Note 10 complete the over-the-air update process. So as it reboots back, you can see it booting into the Lineage OS recovery so that it can install this over there update. And this is actually why we need to sideload Magisk. Now if we had a compatible version of TWRP installed, it's possible that Magisk would be retained through that over there update since when you install an over there update with TWRP, it asks you to decrypt the data partition. It asks for your PIN pattern or password. Since that did not happen here, our storage is still encrypted. And that's why it's not able to flash that Magisk script. But that's okay, we're still going to be able to regain root access. Again, we're just going to need to sideload it. So after that new over there update has been installed, it will restart on its own. And it's going to boot us back into Lineage OS, this time with the newer version installed. So we've now booted back up. We are on that September 21st release that I showed you. However, 
when we open up Majisk, we're going to see Majisk is not installed and that is normal. So what we're going to do is we are going to restart into recovery mode, which again is going to be lineage OS recovery. And once we are in Lineage OS Recovery, we're going to go into ADB Sideload Mode. So we're going to tap on Apply Update, and then Apply from ADB. And when we do that, at the bottom you're going to see we need to send a file over with ADB Sideload. So you can see right here we have opened up a PowerShell but you can open up a command prompt or a terminal. It just needs in the, to be in the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot tools. And remember, we also need that Majisk file in there as well. So just like we saw on the phone, we're gonna type in ADB space sideload space, and then we start typing out the name, the file name of that Majisk file, so capital M-A-G and I'm able to just press the tab button to auto-complete that file name. So you can see our command is adb space sideload space that Majisk file name. And again, this all needs to be in the same folder as our adb and, ADB and fastboot tools. So with that done, we just press enter on the keyboard that's going to send that file over and then we can install it. After we have executed that sideload command you may get a signature verification error message on here. If you do just tap on yes. And You can see right here our phone is going through the Majisk installer so it is executing all of these commands and it is reinstalling Majisk on there. Once you see the word done at the bottom we can tap the arrow at the top left and then tap reboot system now. And we're just going to wait for Lineage OS to boot back up. Now that Lineage OS has booted back up, we can unlock the phone and check out Majisk again. You can already see Majisk is granting super user rights, which shows that Majisk is now installed again. We can even go in and check safety net if we want. We can check our installed modules if we want. We have now installed a Lineage OS over the air update using Lineage OS recovery. And that is how we regain root access with Majisk.